Hi everyone, and welcome back to some more XCOM 2. So, we are assaulting the chosen stronghold, the Warlock. Should be interesting. And here's our crack squad. We got Ronald, Alec, Cruza, Lotharion, Emilio and Rob. So, that's Specialist, Grenadier, Ranger, Sharpshooter, Reaper and Infantry. I got some plasma weapons, which is the plasma rifle on Rob, his infantry and the plasma bolt caster on Ronald, he's the specialist. I also picked up holo targeting for Alec, because he had some extra spare points. It's not just for this mission, because technically Cruza already has holo targeting on this particular mission, but Cruza was also literally the only soldier on my entire roster with holo targeting. So yeah, it'll be useful to have it on more than one person overall. Anyway, let's get started. I do have Fear of the Chosen on two soldiers, but I kind of really wanted them for this mission, so I can deal with that. Actually, no, it's just one soldier, Kuroza. The other one is something different. Yeah, the other one is overly aggressive. Anyway, let's get started. I guess we're moving in this direction. Alright then, let's go! Knock knock. Okay, looks quiet. Let's send Emilio to scout ahead. Now, this might or might not be a two-parter. It will depend on how quickly I can do the mission. We'll see. First of all, we'll see how long the first floor is going to take. And then I will decide based on that. Alright, that room is cleared, so we can just dash forward. Getting it done. Most of my squad is still using magnetic weapons, so this could be a pretty tough mission. The Warlock is definitely quite a bit tougher. Well, there's the Sectoid Bram Soldier. Not really surprising, I guess. We know there's a Prime in here. That is a lot of Sectoid Soldiers. Okay, so how are we doing this? I don't really want to use grenades. I'd rather save them. Probably best if we kill a sectoid soldier or two. The Prime is not that dangerous. And I'm flanking one of the sectoid soldiers, so I think it's best if we kill him. We can also back up a bit with Lotharion, since he's the sniper. I just need to have line of sight. Yeah, that will do. At least it should. Well, sort of. Hold on. If I stand over here, I will not have line of sight properly. Okay, then. I might just move forward slightly. Alright, let's move forward slightly. That way we can actually use lightning hands with the Dark Claw. We could try Frostbite, but that's only one use for the entire mission. I would rather not. Yeah, let's just use lightning hands. There it is. And we can probably kill him. 100. Let's not do that just yet. We'll check our other options. Oh, hold on, we can blow them up! Okay, now that would make our life way easier. It will give the Prime an extra action, but I'm definitely doing this. Just need to make sure I will have line of sight. So, right here. That should be fine. Okay, but not yet. Let's move into cover. With everyone. So, Rob. He can move forward, like this. Then we got Alec over here, or on the left side, behind full cover. With slightly better line of sight. And that's that. Alright, let's do this. That will be really good damage, right there. 12 damage. And there's another one in the back. Alright, let's do it! That should make them both blow up. Well, that's a lot of sectoid corpses. And now we can finish off the Prime. He didn't even attack anyone. 
Okay, this should be pretty easy. What's the best way to do that? A weapon without stock, preferably, because I don't want to do, like, two damage. And then have him attack us. Probably best if we use running gun here. Yeah, sure. Might as well. Oh, I didn't even need it, did I? Well, it doesn't matter. Here, he's dead. Target neutralized. Target neutralized indeed. Alright, let's move on then. Emilio is still concealed, so he can scout forward. I'm glad we got rid of the Prime. Even if it's not a very dangerous Prime, it's still a Prime. I guess we're going in this direction. So that will blow up as well, which is fine. Let's just watch out for the fires. Probably best if we go left. Avoid the fires. Looks clear. Are we going left in general? Seems like it. Yeah, I guess we are. Uh, that's the zone wall. Yeah, we are going this way. The next room looks clear. So I assume we can dash forward safely. Seems fine to me. Alright, let's go everyone. Let's maybe use Overwatch with at least one person, just in case some patrol finds us. So Lutherian can Overwatch. One Overwatch is not a lot, but it's always something. Nope, looks clear. Alright then, how about you shut up? Hello, anyone home? No? So hold on, where are we going exactly? Oh, the door is over there. Alright, fine. So this way. Let's stay in cover. That would be good. Preferably non-explosive cover. And maybe we should reload. Alright, Overwatch. I don't expect any visitors in this room, but it could happen. Nope. You talk too much, way too much. Well, we got a super heavy turret. That's a weird placement for the turret, but okay. Might be best if we wait one turn. I need to be a little bit closer. And I'll need to shred it. Yeah, let's just okay, wait one more turn. On the move. It's not like we are in a we huge rush. We definitely are not. Mm, Here. One turret isn't really a problem. I Might as well move forward a bit. Okay, two turrets in that room. Good to know. Still shouldn't be a problem. We can stay out of line of sight of one of them and destroy the other one. Okay, so first shred it. We can both shred it and get holo targeting at the same time. We actually got two people with both holo targeting and shredder. That's Cruza and Alec. Cruza normally wouldn't have it, but that was his extra ability. Well, anyway, let's do this. Apparently, I won't have line of sight from here. Okay, fine. Let's move forward. Just don't miss on me, bro. It's 100. Yeah, it's going down, guaranteed. Okay, so cruiser. Just stay out of line of sight of the other turret. 100. So that's another shred. And then someone can finish the job. It doesn't really matter who all that much. They all need promotions. I think Rob is the lowest rank in here. There. And we can take out the other turret on the next turn. Okay, and might as well keep moving. Where's the actual destination? I think this way. Well, there's a group in there. Interesting. I'm not sure if it's this way. No, that's not what we're looking for. 
they might move towards us though. Need to keep an eye on them. We can probably ambush them. Because now we will see them. Yep, they are moving. That's a pretty nasty group, actually. Alright, so we need to take out the turret before they find us. Preferably without triggering them. Yeah, we can see if it's safe or not because we can see the group now. This looks fine. But this is not fine. We got two safe spots. Let's just move forward then. I'm actually surprised this spot was fine, but alright. We'll take out their turret. And I assume they will move into the room. Because they probably will. I guess we'll find out. Yeah, where can we stand safely? Not here. Oh wait, yeah, this is not a safe spot. I might just have to stand in the middle of the room or something. Because I definitely don't want to trigger them yet. No, absolutely not. And at the same time, I need to have line of sight to the turret. Yeah, they would actually see me here. I think I'll have to just stand in the middle of the room. Which I'm not too happy about. Technically, we could stand like back here. Honestly, that might be better. Slightly safer anyway. Here, it's almost 100. And one more shot will do it. So, doesn't really matter who's going to finish the job. Emilio can finish the job. Because there's no point using Overwatch with him. I am trusting Not yet, anyway. And he will stay concealed. Because he has Silent Killer. For the Reapers! My ammunition is almost gone. So now we can Overwatch. That is a nasty group. They got a Captain, a Meg, Elite Bio Trooper and Heavy Bio Assault Trooper. Yeah. So that's potentially two enemies that could knock someone unconscious and a mech that can destroy cover. Alright, well, Overwatch. Let's do it. Preferably stay in cover, that would be nice. Any kind of cover. There you go. Let's see what they are actually going to do. Oh, they are moving away. We could probably skip that group. Because that's not where the final room is. I'm actually thinking we could skip that group entirely. First, let's scout with Emilio, shall we? I need to know if it's safe or not, because it might not be. Knock knock. Yep, it's not safe over here, but that's the final room. I might have to kill them, I don't know. It's a little bit risky trying to bypass that group. Might still be doable, but yeah. Let's move into the room. It won't hurt trying. We'll just move closer. We should probably reload anyway. Some people definitely need reloads, like Cruza. He has one ammunition left. Yep. If they come back, that's fine, we'll deal with them. We could aggressively move into the final room. Can't see them right now. They are not moving at the moment. Yeah, I think we can do this. Just be careful about it. First, let's actually check if there are any more enemies in here. I don't think so, but I would like to know for sure. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. I'm not sure if we can kill both the Purifier and the Berserker on this turn. Might not be able to. How about we move even closer and wait one more turn? Because I need to move as far into the room as possible. Okay, we'll move like this and overwatch. We might be able to catch them in an overwatch trap. I'm trusting you here. Let's give it a shot. That will do. 
Yeah, we might actually be able to ambush them. Could be interesting. Looks like we found our way out of here. What do you mean a way out of here? You mean further in? Because that will certainly not get us out. So, anyone moving? That other group is actually moving away from us. Yep, they are coming. I think they will see us, which is what we want. Mm, no, they will not, really. Okay, fine, let's just move into the room. That will obviously trigger them. Uh, how about remote start? No, can't use it. Alright, fine, let's just move in. It's fine. I guess cover doesn't really matter all that much. Yeah, cover literally doesn't matter in this situation. What matters is staying out of line of sight of the other group. If we want to avoid it. So, like this. Now, let's see if we can kill them both. I'm not sure about that. If we get really lucky, it might panic, because we have the rage sealed. And yeah, we got a crit with the blade storm. We might be able to kill them. Alright, let's find out. First, shred the purifier. There it is. Who's going to kill the purifier? Well, good question. Lotharion? Sure. I can't stand too close. Alright, let's just move in. We can use lightning hands. And no, this is going... This might not be enough, never mind. Let's make sure and use lightning hands. He might explode, but it won't matter. In before we miss a 99%. Nope, he's dead. So now the Berserker. Preferably while avoiding the other group. So, let's see. Need to have line of sight here. There. That will do. And take a shot. Oh, it's actually stunned now. Good. So, let's move into the room. I need line of sight here. That will do. We might still have to fight the other group, but hopefully we won't. Done. Alright, let's go. So, unless they see us right now, we're basically done. With this floor, anyway. That's the easy part of this mission. Can't quite see them, but they didn't see us. Alright, let's go. Here, I reloaded all the weapons, so that we'll be instantly ready for the next floor. Well done, and let's go! See you on the other side. All right then, this should be fun. It's definitely going to be tougher than the Hunter. The Hunter was a joke. I mean, the Hunter is already the easiest chosen, but the particular set of weaknesses he had made him a complete joke. Definitely not going to be the case with the Warlock. All right, first we'll deal with the initial group. They should be around here. Yep, Muton and Archon Sentinel, all right. So that's instant overwatch and covering fire. Well then, let's get holo targeting on the muton. Yeah, the muton will go down. I don't know about the sentinel. He missed. But he also destroyed the cover I was going to use. I'm not sure if I can kill the sentinel. Maybe, maybe not. Possibly. I guess we'll find out. Let's shoot the muton first. There it is. Oh, we need literally one more damage. So Emilio can do it. Just don't run through the fire, that's probably a bad idea. 
says I am too Most of the time, anyway. Okay, so that will take care of the muton. Nice useless crit, bro. Oh, nice, he's a captain. Now, let's see if I can kill the sentinel. I'm not sure about that. I guess we'll find out. Yep, we missed. We definitely can't kill it on this turn. Oh, well. He's just going to use Overwatch, because that's what they do. They are mostly annoying combined with other enemies. Not so much on their own. Or maybe we can kill it. We need 15 more damage. No, I don't think we can. Unless we hit both of the shots right now. This needs to hit. Yeah, there it is. We need 5 more damage then. So it's up to Rob. Oh, and he can't move anymore. So I actually can't do it unless I use teamwork. There's no need. So this might kill him. Yeah, he's dead. Good job. Alright, let's reload everything. We'll pick up the loot. Let's send a Milio. I don't think sending a Milio will trigger the Warlock. I want the loot. Here, we got two Elarium Cords and Advanced Repeater. Yeah, I still need more Elarium Cords. Right, now we can reload everything, just so that we're ready. I'll try to not fight the Warlock too many times. We got pretty good damage. But I guess we'll see about that. He has some pretty annoying perks. So I think he will generate shielding if we miss him. He will heal up. If we hit enemies around him or something like that. We can check once he actually attacks us. Alright, so let's move forward. Yep, that will do it. If only you knew the truth. The power in my hands. You would fall to your knees before me. Pity. I suppose we should begin then. Yes, we should begin indeed. I think you'll find that the roles will be reversed. So we don't have fear of the chosen, like I said. No matter what happens today, but I do have a revival protocol. Okay, I guess we'll use revival protocol. We put our That's what it's there for. Oh, it's fine, Bradford. Shut down. up. We did no such thing. This never happened. Okay, so. Yeah, this is going to be tricky. And he's behind full cover right now. So these are all his strengths. He's immune to melee damage. And he has kinetic plating. And he gains health when nearby enemies take damage. So this might be pretty annoying. Especially combined with the Beastmaster. There's not much I can do about him right now. Yeah, well, I mean, I could use the rocket launcher. I think I might just do that. Yeah, we have to shred him anyway. And this might just destroy his cover. So let's do it. Not only counting on that happening, but yeah, it did. Nice. We can do pretty good damage here. So hold on, let's see. I can do extra damage with the Reaper, especially if we get a crit. So, Rob, this will be in range. Yeah, let's do that. Rob can also ignore armor, so the order of shots doesn't matter as much. I could use staggering shot, but that will do less damage. It's not a bad idea, though. Let's save it for later, maybe. Who's next? Alec. Okay, that will shred the armor, so let's use Alec. Don't miss on me, bro. There it is. I don't think we can do 36. No. 
No, definitely not. Well, especially since Ronald is actually too far away. I can give someone a threat assessment. He's not immune to Overwatch, is he? No, he's not. But one more shot with Rotarion. Maybe from up here. Sure, we might as well get to the high ground. Can we use Lightning Hands? Yes, we can use Lightning oh, Hands, actually. How about that, then? Here, just to maximize our damage. And one more. With some good crates, I could have killed him on this turn. But alas, that's not happening. So how about we give aid protocol to Lotharion? Sounds good to me, let's do that. So here it is. Then we can take a shot with Rob. I'm going to use staggering shot. I can't kill him right now anyway. So we'll remove one of his actions. Here. And I don't think I want to reveal Emilio yet. Oh, actually I had the chance to kill him. With a crit, I could kill him right now. I mean, not anymore, but if I took a regular shot with Rob. Might be best to keep Emilio concealed. Maybe spread out a little. Because now I definitely can't kill him. Yeah, he will use Beastmaster. We can finish him off before killing his friends. Is there a Chrysalid? No, just two faceless. We will get a shot. And miss terribly. Wait, is that a faceless with load? That's a little bit weird, but okay. I certainly don't mind. Okay, Spectral Army. That's pretty annoying. Because now I will have to attack the Spectral Army. Because he will get the shield. Oh well, we have the damage. Doesn't make it any less annoying, though. Yeah, so that's 22 damage that we need. No, more. 32 damage. Uh, yeah, okay. Well then. Might be a good moment to use Rage Strike. We could also use Mimic Beacon, perhaps? Not yet. Let's use Rage Strike. Here. Just positioning myself for Blade Storm. In case we need it. Then we can take a regular shot or we can use Slash. Regular shot will be better because good chance to crit. So, the other one. That 75% chance to kill him. There it is, nice. Next. What's next? Emilio can take care of the other one. As in the Spectral Army. That should do. Yep, that one. Just don't miss. And we got one more. Then we could technically throw a Mimic Beacon and attack the Warlock. It's best if we leave him at like 5 health. And then kill him on the next turn. He can't use Spectral Army anymore. So we are safe from that. Anyway. Still got one more. Okay, sure. That will do. 40% chance to crit. Not quite enough. Yeah, I wish I had lightning hands right now, but alas, I do not. We got Lotharion, Rob, and Ronald. We can get a kill with... Oh no, never mind. I was going to use Stock. But then I won't be able to attack twice with Rob. Well, I think Lotharion is the best person for this. He kind of is. Unless we use Teamwork. Let's actually use teamwork. I got advanced teamwork, which means we can use it twice. Might as well just do that. 
Here, that will be a kill. And then we can target the faceless. I don't think I'm going to use a mimic beacon. It's not worth it right now. Okay, so first Ronald. He can take a shot. And miss. Really, bro? 93%? Come on! Well, that happened. At least Rob won't miss. I can't kill both anymore. I had a chance to kill both. Well, no, that's a lie. We might be able to kill both with Bladestorm, which is where Cruza's positioning comes in. Yep. But I'm not taking any more shots at the Warlock, sadly. That will do. Oh, hair trigger, nice. Actually, I could have used Quick Draw. That's technically not granted. But yeah, let's use that. And then we can still Overwatch or shoot the Warlock. Might as well shoot him. Even if we crit for maximum damage, we will not kill him. I don't actually want to kill him on this turn. Because I want to maximize damage. On the Obelisk or whatever. So now he cannot use the same ability again. At least not on this turn. Yeah, he will use Mind Scorch, which is fine. And now we should be able to deal with him. From the flank. Might be best to move up here, because this will not be 100%. I'm on it. Yeah, let's just move up. The loot is not going anywhere. And that will do. Alright. So, let's maximize our damage now. I probably can't do 80 damage. But hey, we'll see. Come on now. Let's go, people. Anyone? Doctor, the device appears to be some sort yes, of we know all of that. We already did this once. You guys remember? Alright, so unfortunately Rob is out of range right now. He needs to move forward. Yeah, Ronald is also out of range, sadly. I definitely won't be doing 80 damage. I can tell you as much. Let's do this. But we'll see how much we can do. Should be able to do at least 40 easily. Reloaded. I don't see why not. Okay. And Emilio. I kind of need the damage at this point, so... Yeah, let's just take a shot with Emilio. That will probably make him lose concealment, but he'll have to lose concealment at some point. He still has the shadow concealment ability. So he can conceal himself after this. Probably not needed though. Right, so that's it. Now we got some enemies coming in. Elite Dualist, that's fine. Now would be a good moment to use a Mimic Beacon, just to maximize our damage on the Obelisk. Just an idea. And the Codex. Yeah, we should either kill the Codex or use a Mimic Beacon to neutralize it. 57 damage. Could we do 57 damage on this turn, in theory? Actually, possibly. Rob can shoot twice. I might be able to do it. Well, let's check. We need 49 more damage. Rob will do at least 7. Okay, it will be close. Oh, yeah. I'm going to need all my shots. But there's a chance. 11, good. So that's 38 more. We got Cruza, Lotharion, who will do at least 8. A Cruza will do how much? At least 7. Okay, so that's 15. 
Uh, Lotharion can also use the pistol. Yeah, with quick draw. So that's 19. Emilia will do at least 5. Yeah, I can do 38. But it does 24. Yeah, well, I can't quite do it. Wait, no, we also got Alec. We can do it! It will depend on the actual exact damage that we do. I can use Inspire. We can do it. I got just about enough damage. Well, the downside is that I might not be able to use a Mimic Beacon. Let's leave Croza for last. I also got Teamwork. Yeah, we can definitely do it. Maybe even with the Mimic Beacon. Alright, let's go then. So, Lotharion. First, the pistol. With quick draw. Then our actual main weapon. Then we can give him a teamwork, but not yet. I'll do that part last. So next up, Alec. Yep. He also has teamwork, so I can use that. Well, that won't do us much good. Because Ronald doesn't have the ammunition anyway. Okay, fine. Just take a shot then. Sounds good. We can still do it though. That's how much health? Yeah, 18 health. It's happening. Emilio next. I suppose he can stay where he is. So that's 5 damage at least. 6 damage, we need 12 more. Yep, we got this. So that leaves us with Rob, who has one more shot. And Cruza. Yeah, here's the problem. Uh, no, we can do it. With the Mimic Beacon. First, we'll take a shot with Rob. Then we'll give him teamwork so that he can use the Mimic Beacon. Because he can't take any shots, but he still has a Mimic Beacon. And then Cruza can take a shot himself. And that will do enough damage. Yep. Nice. Oh wait, no, the teamwork is for Lutherion. So teamwork with Cruza, Lutherion will take a shot, and Cruza will throw the Mimic Beacon. So, other way around, basically. We don't even have to use our primary weapon, we only need 4 damage, so the pistol is enough. No need to waste that ammunition. Here. That's that. And now we can throw the Mimic Beacon. There you go! So that was easier than I thought it would be. But I didn't think I would be able to do enough damage. We still have to beat him one more time, but that shouldn't be a big problem. Okay, so that happened again. I won't be able to use Revival Protocol for that. But oh well. We are basically almost done here. But let's actually finish first, before we celebrate. We don't have the assassin left after this. Yeah, 7 HP stolen. Wait, is he stealing HP from the Mimic Beacon or what? What the heck? Uh, that's pretty annoying. I thought the Codex will shoot the Beacon, but apparently not. Well then. Skull mine? Oh, shut up. Okay, skull mine. On this guy. And we'll move into cover. Don't miss, bro. And we missed. Damn it. That's annoying. I can still do something, though. Like combat protocol. Probably not. I think aid protocol will be better, or advanced teamwork. Yeah, most likely advanced teamwork. I might not be able to do anything about the Codex, but it already used the Sonic Bomb. It can't use it again. Well, at least not for a turn or two. I can move to the high ground. Let's stay down here and shoot the Dualist. Still need to kill him. 
Yes, I do. There. One more shot will do. He's at how much? He's at two health. Okay, then. I don't really have good line of sight to the warlock, unfortunately. I might be able to kill the codex. Lotharion is the person with blue screen. So we need to hit the codex and that's it. Let's try, it might just work. I can even grapple. Yep, we can grapple all the way up here. Will that give us line of sight? There's no indicator. But we should have a line of sight. I don't think the indicator actually shows up from this view, as in from the grapple selection. Alright, let's do it anyway. Oh, that pillar might block it. No, it's fine. We have it. No, just on the warlock, but I'm okay with shooting the warlock, actually. Yeah? Let's shoot the warlock. Works for me. Here, five damage. And one more. That's 100. And 50% chance to crit because we're flanking him. There it is. Nice. Okay. Who's next? We still got teamwork on Emilio. Oh, that's one way we could maybe kill the Codex. Honestly, I think it's best if we focus on the Warlock. That's what I'm thinking. Shame Rob doesn't have the ammunition. I blame the Codex. Yeah, this will be a bit more annoying without the ammunition. Oh well. Let's just move. I still need to kill that duelist. I will go. So we're right here. And then what? I can kill him with a pistol. Okay, fine. Let's just kill him with a pistol then. That will be a kill. Goodbye. And that leaves us with Emilio and Ronald. Probably best to save teamwork for the next turn. Because I can't do a whole lot with teamwork right now. At least nothing that will make a difference on this turn. So it's fine. Just reload and let them do whatever. The Codex will teleport and shoot someone, which is fine. They don't do that much damage. <laughs> okay. that's not well, blood is Here comes the Warlock. The more annoying part is that the Warlock will regain 5 health, but whatever. Here's Mind Scorch. So both Rob and Alec are dazed. Crozai is not panicked anymore. And I do have run and gun. So let's flank the Warlock. We can get holo targeting and hopefully shred him. So this is definitely the best move we got with Croza. Go, go, Croza! Alright, shot him. Please don't miss, this is kind of important. There it is, nice, we even got a crit. Well done. So, Lotharion. Shot the Warlock, I guess. We can ignore the Codex, it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Hold on, not yet though, we can do it later. Let's check the others. Emilio. Emilio is too far away to do anything. Well, he can shoot the Codex, but that's it. Ronald. Ronald could shoot the Codex. I also need to help my people. And I think it has to be Ronald. It could be Emilio. Okay, I need someone to do it, so I guess Emilio will do it. Like this. Come back here. We're not done yet. And now I also need to help Cruza. 
Yeah, well... I wouldn't mind healing him. How about that? First we'll heal him and then we can move in. It might be best to kill that Codex, actually. Because I can't kill the Warlock on this turn anyway. Not with two soldiers dazed. So that leaves us with Lotharion, Alec and Rob. And Rob doesn't have any ammunition. Alec does. We also got that Vesti Inspire. Yeah, but 25 health on the Warlock and he has cover. And I can't destroy that cover. No, it's not happening. Let's just get rid of the Codex. It's not even guaranteed. 76% chance to hit. Here, it's a kill. So now we can do some damage to the Warlock. I definitely can't kill him. But we can take a shot. Not much point using Inspire, that won't actually achieve anything. Any point freezing him? Well, I mean... I can use the grenade, the regular grenade. Catch. Yes, catch. That should remove one of his actions, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, he will lose one action point, which is good enough. Beastmaster, so more loot for us. He summoned a loot carrier, <laughs> I mean, faceless. Same thing, right? Come on now. Now we can definitely finish it. Hey, don't go too far. I need you here. Okay, he's in full cover. Well then. Yeah, 30 health. I might actually not be able to do it. I don't know about this. Yeah. I actually don't think I can finish him off right now. Yeah, only 36% chance with Rotarion. That's kind of low. I can get a flare and holo targeting, but I don't think that's going to help all that much. Who has flare again? Someone had it. That would be Alec, right? Oh no, that's demolition on Alec. I don't actually have Flare. Never mind then. Yep, I can't kill him on this turn. That's annoying. Still got the teamwork. I can't even flank him. Alright then, well... I guess that's not happening. Nope, it's definitely not happening. He had to stop there, right in the corner. Fine. I hope he won't summon that stupid Spectral army again on the next turn, because he might? Well, that's one faceless down. Alec? I kind of want to do some damage at least. But at the same time, I would like to kill the faceless. So, yeah. I think the lot might have to wait. I'd rather not stand in the open if I don't have to. On the move. No, that's not a great idea. Shoot the faceless. I could probably ignore the faceless and kill it with Bladestorm, but that's a little bit risky. How about to use the pistol? And then we can try to do some more damage to the Warlock. Let's see. So first we need holo targeting on him. That would be Alex's job. This will do at least one damage because we have stock. Not good. And that will not make him Oh, that will make him generate kinetic plating. Right. Okay then. Well, let's take this shot. We will do free damage even if we miss. So then he will generate free kinetic plating again. So technically, if we miss, he will not gain or lose anything at all. So, let's just do it. 
there it is. Nice one. Oh, and we got another action. Nice. Yep, let's take the shot. We actually ignored the kinetic plating. That's weird. And that leaves me with Emilio. So, I think that's pretty much it. I'm not even in range to attack with Emilio. Nope, I'm not. Okay, fine. I guess that's it then. Let's enter Shadow Concealment. And we can move about as close as we are able to. We should be able to finish him up on the next turn. Yeah, he will use Spectral Army, but even with Spectral Army, I think we can do it. We'll need around 30 damage on the Spectral Army, and then 15 damage on the Warlock. I'm not sure, I guess we'll see. So in the end, it did take a while. Now imagine I would have to do this at least one more time. It would take well over an hour. Alright, so first Spectral Army. This would be a good moment to use some grenades. Yep. Let's just use a plasma grenade. Might also be a good idea to pick up that lot. Here, grenades first. Who's going to kill them? Where's Rob? He can shoot twice as long as he stays where he is. Yeah, he can hopefully finish off the Spectral Army, like that. And then the other one, I guess? 61%. Kind of low. There, it was good enough. And there's one more up here. Slightly annoying positioning. I can actually move up there with Kroza. Yeah, I guess so. Hold on, what about Lotharion? It's killing time. What's our chance to hit here? 66%. Okay. I can get a flanking shot with Emilio. Shame I don't have Banish on Emilio yet. But alas. Yeah, that one guy. His stupid positioning. Let's take that shot with the Rotarion then. He might be able to get a kill on his own. He needs 10 damage. Yeah, grapple won't do me much good. Just take that shot. No, he didn't even hit. Come on, focus! He did destroy the cover. Oh, and he got hair trigger. Nice. Okay, so that will be a kill. We can still try to kill the warlock. But even with a crit, I'm not sure if I can. Uh, well, no, with a crit, we could. And it's going to be 75% chance to crit or close. Yep, 24. There it is. We need 8 more damage. I do have teamwork. Yeah, that's not super useful for Rob. Oh, this will be a kill because he takes extra damage from Reapers, so we're done. Goodbye. Return to your gods. Nice. So the Warlock is gone. Don't have to worry about him anymore. And we'll get his weapon. It's a nice weapon for infantry. It wasn't easy, but we managed to pull it off, Commander. If only we could see the look on the Elders' faces. Well, that's that. Let's see who was the MVP. 
Yep, Cruza was the MVP. Alright, back to base. Promotions? One promotion. Oh yeah, for Emilio. So, I guess thing is fine. Soul Harvest is not bad, but I like Sting. Here. Technically, I can take both, but I think I'm going to save the points for now. Actually, no, I'm going to grab Needle because that's useful. Here, done. So, there's the Warlock weapon, but I'll finish my current research, which is only five days away, the beam cannon. Soldier bond available, and we are not using the training center. Oh, they are wounded, that's why we can't do it. Alright, so what's next? Some intel over there. What are we doing exactly? Oh yeah, the loot. I don't think it's going to be anything overly useful, but let's finish it anyway. And then we can maybe grab intel or something. New facility. In Europe, okay. I guess we should probably work on that. And there's the next mission. A scientist and 77 intel. Viper Prime in here. Alright, I guess that's what we'll be doing. However, we'll be doing that in the next episode, so thanks for watching this one, I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did, or a dislike if you didn't. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.